What a run. Let's kick things off with a cliffhanger from last season. Zach, will the Heat be as successful outside of the bubble as they were inside of the bubble? Will they make the finals? Yeah. I don't know, but I think they will be just as I think they will be just as good of a team. I believe in the Heat. The bubble was not a fluke. Look, is Goran Dragic going to play out of his mind all season? I don't know. They might miss Jay Crowder, but Mo Harkless will help. Avery Bradley is going to be a little sneaky, important piece for their team. Tyler Hero will get better. Bam will get better. I believe in the Heat. I think the Heat are going to be right back in the mix to win the East. I don't think they're just sort of a run-of-the-mill 4-5-6 seed. I think they're really, really good, and they're going to be right back in it. They fear nobody. Well, well, Rachel and Zach, y'all know how I feel about them goons from Dade County, and I was rocking with them last season. Yep. But the fact of the matter is, is that the East have gotten better with KD and Kyrie coming back, with Milwaukee adding Drew Holiday, and then you add, you throw in the Wizards, okay? Do not sleep on the Washington Wizards, please. I like the makeup of their, of, of their ball club. And you look at Philly, it's going to be hard for Miami to get back to the finals. But I do see them going to the second round. Perk, the people of my native D.C. area, thank you, because do not sleep on the Washington Wizards is just not mm -hmm. a sentence we hear very often ever in the NBA. The plot twist for the Heat, let's get to that. Signing Bam to an extension worth at least $163 million. Ooh. They had the option of trying to kick the can down the road for a year. Would have left them a little bit more flexibility next offseason, but instead they showed Bam how important to him, how important to them he is. But does the deal put added pressure on Bam, Kendrick? No, not at all. Bam is a guy that you can't teach what he already has. He has a unique skill set on the offensive end. He's everything that you want in a big man in today's game. He's a live third of the rim. He's a hell of a passer. He's able to set great screens. He also has a nice 15 foot jump shot around the mid range. And on the defensive end, Bam is a guy that could possibly be in the defensive player of the year conversation. The way that he's able to switch one through five pick and rolls protect the basket so with bam he doesn't have to do anything more than he's been doing perk nailed it bam didn't get this contract by chasing points mm -hmm. he didn't get it by chasing numbers he didn't get it by caring about his stats or all the things we think about when we wonder is the guy gonna be worried about living up to his contract bam right. got this contract by playing to win period, by trying to help his team win. All he has to do is play the exact same way he's always played, and I agree with Perk. I think we're going to see more of his jumper because mm. I think that's coming. I think it's going to be a good weapon for them late in possessions. But, bam, he's the last guy you're going to have to worry about playing up to the contract, caring about his numbers. He just wants hey, to Zach, win. Zach, as long as he's shooting the jumper like you be doing in L.A. Fitness, he'll be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Zach okay. told us in the last segment he's got to move, so I'm just I'm just waiting waiting to see it on camera. Um, here are the games that Heat fans will need to binge watch this season. In the first half, we are all pumped for their Christmas Day showdown with Zion and the Pelicans. Then they start their Eastern Conference gauntlet with the Bucks, Celtics, and Nets all within a 30-day span. So Zach, which East team do you think poses the toughest matchup for the Heat? I think Boston got a little bit worse with Hayward leaving and Kemba injured. Toronto got a little bit worse. So to the Turks' point, I think Milwaukee, yeah, they flamed out in the playoffs last year and they lost in the conference finals the year before. Got closer to winning that series than people remember. But with Drew Holiday, I still think you got to give the Bucks some benefit of the doubt. And if KD's ready and Kyrie's ready, I think the Nets have a chance to be really, really good and be in this conversation to win the East, too. So those would be my two teams that if I'm Miami, I'm zeroing in on everybody. Philly's going to be good. Indiana's nothing to sleep on. I might take a nap on the Wizards. I don't know if the Wizards <laughs> belong in this conversation, but I'm looking at the Bucks and the Nets. No, I'm right there with you, Zach. And, and look, you can talk about the Bucks and the Nets, and rightfully so. Like I said, don't leave out the Wizards. Don't leave out the Celtics. Don't leave out the Raptors. But here's the thing with the Miami Heat. Last year, they were hunting. This year, they're going to be the hunted. Teams are going to come in, and when it's time to play them, they're going to be getting that night of sleep because they know that they have a tough, a tough task. So every game for the Heat is going to be battle-tested. They're going to have to strap their boots up because teams are going to be coming for them, especially the Milwaukee Bucks, because they want their revenge. 
Perk, I, I used to live in South Florida. I don't know what the current day-to-day -day restriction levels are on where Florida is in terms of letting people into bars and clubs. I'm telling you now, though, that Miami's Miami, and when those restrictions are lifted, <laughs> nobody's getting their eight hours of rest before they play the heat. I get what you're saying, but I, I just, I've, I've seen it for too long. Finally, it's spoiler alert time. Caesars William Hill gives Miami the fourth best odds of winning. So, Perk, what are your predictions for the Heat this season? Where are you? We've been talking about the East in general. That's what these odds are. But in general, where's your prediction for where the Heat are going to end up? Oh, it's hard to say because I got so much love for the goons. But I don't th I don't see the Miami Heat getting past the second round, Rachel. I'm sorry. Mm. And by the way, the Heat could be just as good a team as they were last year and not get past the second round. The playoffs are hard. There are injuries. The East is really good. I would put the Heat above Boston on that odds list. I think those odds are shortchanging the Heat a little bit, given Kemba Walker's injury concerns. Uh, but Nets, Bucks, Heat, I think they're right in the mix. Would not surprise me if they were in the finals again. I don't think I'll pick them, but it wouldn't surprise me. And this is why I'm so excited. The NBA is starting back up again next week. We get to see it all play out. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.